Welcome everyone, my name is Angie and today we are playing Over the Hills and Far Away demo. Um, it's a game available on Steam. I wanted to show you at least the demo so you may get interested in this game. As you can see it's a visual novel. However, because I already played it and some things will surprise me, I'm not gonna do you know, my usual uh, visual novel playthrough. I'm just going to make it into Android. So it'll be called Android because I'll be just uh, voice acting the game, I would say, without any commentary from me. Okay, guys? Great, so let's jump in. The sky is dark and the sleeve is cold. These empty lands are wild and windswept. My journey will be a harsh one and there is no guarantee I'll come out of it the same. An eagle circles sky above before flying soft, cow and the updrafts of the wind. As the rain falls all around, I trudge through the mood and frost, searching for shelter. Alone in a wilderness, I pass through the long grass of a battlefield. Red goats and blue goats lie in the dirt. Their corpses sinking in the mud beneath. Their rifles stand, abandoned, pointing towards the sky. A chip substitute for a headstone. A waste of guns, if you ask me. Counting the bodies. I guess it must have been an ambush or a small engagement. Perhaps prisoners of war on their way to an American encampment? Maybe they were fellow deserters on their way so. I continue to walk past the brambles and paddles deeper into the battlefield. Moss and weeds stick to my boots and the sudden nerve sucks my feet down under the surface. Passing corpse after corpse, I casually glance over the bodies for rations or supplies. But luck isn't on my side. The soldiers were already stripped of their goods before being left to rot in the sleep. Slowly, I come to a halt on a small hillock at the edge of a field. The rain continues to pour down from above. Should I keep going from here? Whatever here is. The further I push south, the less chance I have of returning. I look back across the valley. Our last orders to retreat didn't leave us with many clues. Barlington. Something about Barlington. The men who were treating were headed for the British encampment there. I stand for a few moments, staring into the distance. I'm William Aubrey of the 31st Regiment of Foot. Following the last engagement to the north on the Thames River, I fed southwest and crossed the Detroit River. Now, deep into enemy territory, 
I am headed so from Michigan territory. Where I go from here, I cannot say. If the British were to find me as I am now, <laughs> I would certainly be shot for treason. Living in the woods, a coward, and a traitor to the crown. I've kept my head down so far and journey from shelter to shelter. Scavenging like a common mongrel, I had no choice but to rope and trespass. I should keep moving. There's no way for me to turn back now. If I'm to desert, I should keep running for as long as I can. Perhaps I can find an American regiment looking for new recruits. No, no, I'm done with fighting. That's not life I can return to. I have no business with being a soldier any longer. I have no love for the old king or for the new republic. I only wish to find my own place to call home, to be a free man and find my fortune. After all, what is there to win here? Glory, freedom, land? There are no spoils of war for cannon fodder. Either left to rot as a prisoner of war, to hang or made to fight under men like Proctor again, I'll take my chances as a freeman and a day. I begin walking again. My boots slowly becoming caked in mud and slime. As I head through the valleys, I eventually see a small barn in the middle of a field. Seemingly abandoned, I begin trudging towards it at a hurried pace. After living in the wilderness for nearly a week, I could use some shelter. Absent-mindedly, I raise a hand on my shoulder as I walk and feel the wound here. Shot in the woods during the last engagement, I was hit by musket fire. I barely noticed it after the first few days, but it's beginning to bleed more after slipping in the mud. Soon enough, I come to a stop outside the old bar. The dirty shack is barely standing, but I can smell the dry hay inside. It will do for now. Looking at the timber door, I reach toward the handle but stop short of gripping it. There is a small rope hooked around the metal rank, tying the door to the burn wall. Knife. Reaching into my boot, I grip at the console blade and pull it out. I turn the dirty weapon over in my hands and maintaining the broken handle. Then I slowly saw the roll until the thin string breaks in two, replacing the knife in my boot. A foe strikes me. I'm probably on someone's lap here. Anybody could be inside this barn. An American soldier with a rifle, a native rebel with a tomahawk, or a farmer rank with me for trespassing his land. I let the strap of my mask fall down over my shoulder and I take the weapon in my hands. It's best to be prepared for these things after all. I move forward and begin to pull at the barn door, prying it open. Leaning up against the wooden frame, I grip at the handle and pull. Slowly, the timber bar begins to shift. 